It was January 1st, roughly 6.24 in the morning, and we were dispatched for possible structure fire less than three blocks from my house. I was the, the first and only person on scene besides the residents of the structure. I struck obviously a full dispatch alarm. The first arriving truck established uh, entry into the structure and began to investigate with three firefighters going interior. I arrived at the station, got on the second truck. We proceeded into the scene and, and as I exited the truck, I could tell that conditions were changing on the firefighters inside. I could see the smoke changing. As I was getting over to the front door, it progressed down to the front door very fast. At that point, I turned around and yelled to the chief that he needed to hit the evacuation tone to get the guys out that were on the third floor. My fear was that they were going to get trapped, as they did. I, I could see conditions changing, and I knew that where they were, they didn't have the time to get out. They were not going to be able to make an exit to the front door. As he turned to me, I was already on the radio at the same time. Having dispatch hit the emergency evacuation tone to have firefighters removed from the structure. What we thought they were coming down the steps turned out to be an extingu fire extinguisher rolling down the steps and hitting the front door and closing it. Uh, at that point, Chris turns to me and says, we got to get them out. I said, absolutely, and I bum-rushed the door. He had the nozzle. In case there was fire, I forced the door back open. I had flames right in my face at that time. The firefighters ended up rolling down the stairs to get away from the flames as I was trying to suppress the flames to get them out. After we got the first firefighter out to get the second firefighter, I was able to make it in a little bit further to grab him. That firefighter in particular was actually going away from me and I could hear him screaming, looking to get somebody to get him out. I ended up taking the hose line and I, that's how I found him. I took the water and I could hear myself hitting him with the water to be able to locate him and grab him and get him out. The third firefighter was unaccounted for. We're not concerned with the fire at this point. We're concerned with our, our teammate, our friend, our brother. And I happened to look up and could see him uh, with his upper torso hanging out that third story window. Your heart is up in your throat at a moment like that. A ladder truck had uh, arrived on scene and they started throwing ladders to windows. I proceeded up the side of the ladder and was assisting him coming out the window, pulling him down through the ladder. So the three firefighters were burned. Um, two were burned severely. One of the firefighters had both hands burned and the other firefighter had his back torso burned and the third firefighter had his face burned and wrists also. The impact of this fire, to myself personally, is to make sure that I'm slowing down and getting a full view of, of things. Things change and change quickly. It's life before anything, period.